Growing up, Lindsay never wanted to play dress up or play with dolls. She'd rather ride around on dirt bikes, motorcycles, go-karts, whatever. She was always a daredevil, never passing up a chance to win and have fun with the boys, which worked out perfectly for me because I enjoyed doing all those things with her. We used to go to the racetrack. Eventually, after I bought her her first dirt bike, and we used to go to the racetrack and go racing, and her mother was not the happiest with me for <laughs> buying this dirt bike. But she, she dealt with it. Lindsay had a good time, and she learned many, many good things from it. I've been blessed with being able to share in all sorts of things with Lindsay. A lot of sports, a lot of growing up moments. She's come to me with good things, bad things, and it's been an honor to be with you and do all these things. One moment that we had together, we, we this is not bad. <laughs> Her mother and I were at a soccer game. And this tells how tough Lindsay could be. We're at the soccer game, and it got down to the end of the soccer game, the last three minutes, and we watched everything. They ended up winning the game. Well, her mother and I were sitting at the, at the sidelines waiting for her to finish up and, and come, to the, come over to us so we could take her home. And one of her friends comes running over, you guys have to get here right now. Lindsay, Lindsay got, got hurt really bad. And we're like, what are you talking about? She's high-fiving people, everything's good. Well, as it turned out, we get over to the bench and there's Lindsay with a broken collarbone and her collarbone sticking straight up. <laughs> she played three minutes at the end of the game with a broken collarbone. This is, this is Lindsay. Since, since meeting Tom, she hasn't skipped a beat. She now rides her own Harley, still, still skis, still snowboards and does what I've heard about, haven't seen it yet, but these backflips that she does off the boat at Candlewood Lake. <laughs> Tom, we are so happy that, we've, that you guys found each other. We know that Lindsay has found a good man who will take good care of her and who will always look out for her. You're a great guy and we are very happy to welcome you into the family as parents. We all want our children to be healthy and happy. It's wonderful to see you guys together and how perfectly fit you guys are. Let's raise our glasses and toast to the new couple. To, Lynn, to Mr. and Mrs. Keeley, let's get the party started. I am so blessed to have my two best friends finally be married. And thank God Thomas did it when he did, because I think Lindsay would have killed me and him both if we had to wait any longer. I love you guys. I am so thankful for you both. Audrey is just as thankful, even though she's not here right now. I love you guys, and I'm so, so happy. Good. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> For those that don't know me, my name is Ryan. I read that the best man's speech either starts with a joke or an embarrassing story, but we already made it this far in the night, so I think we're going to go with a little bit of humor. <laughs> we all know the bride, a wonderful, beautiful woman who deserves an absolutely perfect guy. But too bad you don't always get what you deserve. <laughs> but in all seriousness... <laughs> But in all seriousness, Lindsay, you've done something countless people, including Terry, have tried to do. And that's get Tom to grow up. <laughs> <laughs> I've had front row seats to both of you building your relationship from Vermont to your first apartment, the house, and every chapter in between. And I think I speak for everybody here and they're excited to see where the rest of this chapter and these books go. You know, life is unpredictable. Not everything's in your control. But as long as you're with the right people, you can handle anything. I think you guys are great. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. When that sleep won't come and you've cried your some let it come to you there's nothing you can do 
Until I see you smile Just below those eyes That tell me you're okay It's written on your face As you come to light I come alive Your silhouette in the summer sky But this is only a measure It can only get better It can only get better And this is only a measure It can only get better It can only get better Turn your sorrow in Burn every piece of it Let me comfort you I'll be your go-to Cause these are youthful days We will grow in great worse or better Our time is best together You must know that I love you so Never bargain you for your waiting gold And this is only a measure It can only get better It can only get better this is only a matter It can only get better It can only get better If you're seeing through a single eye You're missing half of what this world looks like And I see that it only feels half tight There is more and I know that it's yours and mine This is only a measure It can only get better It can only get better And this is only a measure It can only get better It can only get better This is only a measure It can only get better It can only get better And this is only a measure Won't come, and you've cried your son. Let it come to you. There's nothing you can do until I see you smile just below those eyes that tell me you're okay. It's written on your face. As you come to light, I come alive. Your silhouette in the summer sky. But this is only a measure It can only get better It can only get better And this is only a measure It can only get better It can only get better Get better, it can only get better And this 
is only a measure It can only get better It can only get better This is only a measure